Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. We need to build a tree house. And this big puppy right here. You guys are officially great parents. Do you think it'll fit? We need a tree house. This is what makes tree house building tree house building. Come on, let's go check out this tree house. I'm Colin Hunter. I'm a contractor who's fixing up cottage country one deck, dock, and gazebo at a time. My job is to get the build done on time so people can kick back and have fun at their cottage. Today, we're on Heaney Lake. It's a beautiful spot with crystal clear water and soaring pine trees, right smack in the middle of Ontario's Muskoka region. I'm Todd. I'm Kelty. And uh, this is uh, Cozy Toad Cottage in uh, Heaney Lake. This is our second season here. We just loved it because of the trees. It just felt really cottagey too. It was small, it was quaint. The Stewart family has two very active little boys with incredible imaginations. We found a, like an inflatable... Dinghy. Dinghy, yeah. The first trip out with the kids, they loved it. We decided it was a, a pirate adventure and they carried that whole theme on for the, for the, the entire summer. summer. You were Igor, I was Sully. Pirate Bear and pirate bear Captain was Underpants. That's right. Building on the pirate theme, we want to build a pirate lair. The adventure treehouse using the white pines that we've got here. What they need is a gazebo in the sky, an airborne playhouse that's safe and spacious. But this project's a bit different from most of my jobs. Usually I come in and do the whole thing. But today, I'm more like a consultant here to make sure this tree house gets built properly. We want them to be able to sleep over and have their buddies up high enough that they feel like they're having adventures and not so high that they're gonna break their necks. Pirates are cool when you're four and also when you're 16. We wanted to uh, show our pirates that you could build something out of nothing. We found all sorts of stuff that was salvaged, right. even found stuff in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. The pirate door, it's the best piece of treasure we could ever have found secondhand. I just love it. It's so ugly it's cool. It's just completely fit with the theme. Kelty and Todd have a clear idea of what they want. I'm here to supervise and to look after a few of those little details that are a little beyond what they can do. Some of the stuff with framing in the windows and uh, putting in a dormer, make sure everything's straight, everything's safe, railings, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we thought a little bit of extra help might, uh, might be good for this one. And we've seen some of Colin's work and we were happy with what we saw. And he's lots of fun, so we thought we'd bring him in. All right, so let's check out the materials you have here. All right, there's a bunch of uh, big stuff on the end here. We stole from uh, Kelty's parents' barn, all these big things. Uh, some twisted uh, two by fours. This is great. We have some supports, some four by fours, enough two by fours to do a lot of the walls. This looks like almost enough of the floor framing. A I pile so. of decking. There's some uh, some planks there for a potential bridge. Pre pre rope ladder. That's right. We're able to pull all these off my parents' uh, deck at home. They still have lots of treehouse life left in them. We've got some leftover uh, siding from our old house too. We could probably use up on the dormers down here. Excellent. And I like a nice pile of rustic sticks and well, trees. It might be great for uh, for railings. I mean, really create creative uh, endeavors of any sort. It's necessary in a treehouse to not have all straight lines and everything. You want it to look like it's uh it's been homemade so yeah that's exactly. cool <clears throat> fantastic all right well let me uh i'm going to do a list of what you have and what i think we can use where and see what we're missing and what we need and what we need to find perfect perfect okay cool all right kelty and todd have spent a lot of time finding all the necessary components of this build and i'm pretty sure that kelty has dedicated the last six months of free time to this treehouse here's what we're going to do the treehouse will need support so we'll build a gusset a pair of posts will hold up the other side. We'll build a 10 by 10 deck on top of it with four walls and a roof. Then we'll pirate it up. 
adding a sleeping loft in the attic, a slide for pushing people overboard, and a bridge so they can walk the plank. So we've recruited a whole pile of help for this job. It's just, just like an old-fashioned barn raising. So uh, my parents are here to help, Margie and Dave, and uh, my dad's an awesome builder. Okay, so let's get started on putting the gusset here. So the main idea of the gusset is to support the weight of the rear of the treehouse. This area here is nice because we avoid where it dips in here just so we can have somewhat of a flat level mounting surface. Yep. Okay, so we'll let him work away on that. We can carry on building these braces. In the pile, we found a couple of beautiful pieces. Uh, we actually needed pieces 12 feet long. And this piece, the two pieces are actually both 12 feet long. And they have a nice shape on either end. So they're gonna look like it's been there for a while, which is cool, it's got a lot of character. I'm just gonna finish anchoring these to the tree. We need this as a spacer because the tree bows out this way and we need that lake front view so we don't have an option on where it goes. Now that is a work of art. No, it's a treasure. A pirate's treasure. Arr. <laughs> I think the gusset went really well. Uh, we had to account for the bow in the tree, so we had to come up with a few different workarounds. It was awesome to get things started and get things up off the ground, so it was nice. Now that we have it mounted to the tree, we can start building our deck platform. Kelty and Todd are doing really great with their work. You can tell that they're totally focused on this. They've been spending a lot of time doing their research and they really I feel like they want to impress each other, they want to impress me, they want to impress their kids. We'll each grab a corner, plop it up here, and we'll grab a couple temporary legs. Feel the bin. The deck wasn't too bad. It took uh, a little bit of muscle to hoist it up. It got uh, beyond a little bit of reach for a couple of us, but uh, once we were able to get it up, hold it, uh, braced, then after that, the rest of it was uh, a little bit easier. Looks fantastic. That's awesome. We laid down a mosquito net on top of the frame. That will help keep low-flying bugs out of the fort. Next thing we need are some walls. Hey, you know what? You're doing a really good job. Thanks very much, all right? 34 and a quarter, please. Oh, it's great to see the kids working with their tools while we're working with our tools, it's great. Uh, you know, people think that most tree houses are built by kids, but they're actually built usually by 30 to 40 year olds. Today we're working underneath and in the giant pines beside Ontario's Lake Heaney. Kelty and Todd want a pirate themed tree house for their two young buccaneers high enough that they feel like they're having adventures and not so high that they're going to break their necks. We're using recycled lumber. We've got a big pile of materials that we've salvaged. And plans that Kelty drew up herself. Those plans include a sleeping loft and a rope bridge. They're providing all the labor and they brought me in for some professional guidance to make sure the treehouse is built safe and square. So after we had all of our four walls built for the treehouse, we had to figure out how to get them up here and uh, luckily we had no shortage of manpower and woman power. So we just put them on the edge, uh, found kind of a flat spot so that we could lean them there and then slide them up, hand them to Simon and myself and nail them in. When we started building the walls here, basically what we're doing is we're pushing it back into the corner. So all I had to do was line up the wall with the edge of the decking, screw that down, and then once we have a corner made with our next panel and that's screwed in tight, it will be stable. Kelsey 
Salty and Todd are continuing to work on the treehouse while I'm not here. We started building the railing supports and uh, finishing all the, uh, the balusters, the balusters uh, putting in a set of stairs so people could get up and down and uh, getting going on the pirate bridge. Hey, Kelty, how's it going? Awesome, how are you? Yeah, I was, uh, you guys got a ton of stuff done. That's amazing. Thank you. We've been uh, working like busy beavers. I can tell. No sleep for the treehouse builders. So uh, put up the uh, treehouse-like uh, balusters. Yep. Uh, my engineering slash pilot husband has installed a beautiful set of stairs. It actually looks great. Yeah, okay. Oh, you guys even got the loft done. Yeah, so on the inside we've got uh, both loft beds up, first floor windows installed. Oh, the windows look good too. So we didn't have to cut any holes bigger or anything, we're okay? No, he did yes. a great job. <laughs> the only thing we still have to do is the real pirate door. Yes. I'm going to start with that. Is that cool? Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it. Man, this parrot's heavy. We are cutting down this parrot door because tree houses don't need a big old door. We want to make the knob accessible for the kids and it's a little bit overwhelming and girthy. So I'm just going to have a little check here and see how we're doing for square. And right off the bat, we definitely were installed in a crooked house. That's a problem there. You can see when I hold the level straight to here, we have a significant change there. Now that we've got a nice rectangle door without any kooky angles, we're ready to start building our frame. First thing, I'm gonna mount this hinge side of the door frame onto the hinges temporarily with a screw. I'm gonna trace the hinges, chisel them out, then I'm gonna assemble the frame installed into the opening, and then with any luck, the door's gonna fit and it's gonna close. I didn't bring my fancy router today, so I'm just gonna do these hinges the affordable quick way. Uh, which is using an X-Acto knife and a chisel. So, and it's easy to round when the blade is nice and short. So I'm gonna pre-assemble this door frame on the ground. I just think it's gonna be a lot easier than carrying it up there and doing it piece by piece. Oh, that's a heavy pirate door. That looks good. Looks good. Rory, what do you think? Do you think it'll fit? When do I get to use this thing? <laughs> Rory, give me a break, man. You're a, you're a slave driver. We just cut the base plate out here. And we uh, leave the plate in the bottom when we stand walls because it keeps everything perfectly level and square until you've got it tacked in. And we are living the dream. Celebrate until we see if it shuts. It's gonna shut. Oh, that's, look at that. Oh. It was great to finally get the pirate door in. It just looks awesome. It's the best piece of treasure we could ever have found secondhand. I just love it. Kelty and Todd are the best parents ever. They're building a pirate tree house for their two boys. They got all the pirate stuff under control. The slide and the rope bridge are in place. I'm here to make sure the house stays attached to the tree and to make sure the roof doesn't cave in on anybody's head. We've had the most fun just seeing it come to life. Like basically have a sketchy little graph paper drawing turn into something real. It's pretty exciting. And Colin's been awesome. He hasn't said, well, we can't do that to anything. So that's been really nice. lovely day to be up in the tree. It is. It's a lovely view. Yeah. So we've got a ton of work done. The roof is almost framed in. We're just about ready for plywood. Kelty's done a wonderful job on the loft area up here, which will store many things. Yes. Including maybe people. Yes. <laughs> the 
This is what makes Treehouse Building Treehouse Building, is that everyone gets involved and everyone has a job. Todd and Kelty are off painting the underneath of the roof. And the reason that we're putting the ceiling board is so that when we use our nail gun, these nails don't poke through. And uh, when the kids get out of bed or have a nightmare, they don't come up and whack their head into a nail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay just some uh, particle board over top of all the joists. We're gonna nail it down. And then we're gonna just put some strapping and then we're gonna put our actual plywood and that's just gonna give us enough room so the nails don't go through. You don't have to use a inexpensive plywood if you wanna make it a, you know, a dream bunkie. You could be doing tongue and groove pine or whatever you want on top. <laughs> well, if there's room enough for four of us to be working in here, there's probably room for 10 kids up here. Woohoo! Yeah. So we're gonna head up and uh, Toddy's gonna to teach me how to build a ladder. What you wanna do is figure out how many steps you want, and so people don't slide off or feel uncomfortable. Ah. You want to make them level with the ground, so you can, everywhere that you want to step, you can just take your level. We're ready to put this puppy in. This is gonna work perfect. The tree house is progressing outrageously well. You know, we put in a lot of hours and uh, so has the crew and uh, it is, uh, it, it's really looking good. It's been really nice with the material pile actually. We've been able to use a ton of what we got. Uh, there isn't going to be much, uh, there isn't going to be much left over that didn't get used, which is really nice to see. Because uh, yeah. you never know when you're scavenging stuff, if you're going to just use a, a few pieces and I have a big pile of leftovers, but it looks like the pile's almost gone. Maybe we could do all of the bottoms of the windows with that or something. Yeah. It's too cool to not use it. That's true. So I'm going to give you some tips, just like you've been giving us the professional tips on how to build the treehouse. Awesome. Um, I've been doing all the sewing for the inside, so uh, I'll give you a little, some pointers on how to build your own curtains or throw pillows if you ever have a need. Well, you've impressed me with your building skills. Let me see if I can do the same in return. <laughs> okay. I've and... always been told there's two ways to learn how to do things, the fast way and the slow way. So I usually like to dive right in. All right. Am I, am I good? <laughs> you're a little crooked, but it's all good. So the sewing lesson with Colin was awesome. I actually think that he may have done that before. Uh, I think that maybe he's a closet uh, healer. But yes, it was, uh, he did a great job. I've mended pants in my day. <laughs> The Stewart family have their hearts set on the most authentic pirate tree house that they can build. We've used reclaimed lumber and an antique parrot door. So the pirate door is the perfect door for that tree house, but the only thing is it was missing the key component. Right smack in the center of that is this old school doorbell and it was missing. I found one that'll fit perfectly, but since I need a little more time to put a few finishing touches on the tree house, I've buried it and sent the kids off on a pirate-themed treasure hunt. You guys ready? Here's the clues. It says, X marks the spot. I'm blue and I'm big and hold tools that can dig. Ah! Tool shed? Please bring them along to the tree that's in three. Come on! <laughs> Look to the left, toward the tree that has three trunks. Oh, this is just a rock! Oh, oh, whoa! Oh. Whoa, treasure. treasure! I don't know. It's inside. Open it. <gasps> oh, whoa! That's awesome. You'll be able to ding. Say, hello, I'm here. Kelty and Todd's kids have great imagination. They spent all last summer playing pirate in a rubber raft, but this year they'll be able to take their swashbuckling games up a few notches. Hey guys, come on, let's go check out this treehouse. Let's go! Run up the stairs! 
No, don't run up the stairs. You guys are crazy. The finished product has lots of room inside for playing. A deck out front to keep a lookout for other pirates, and a cool rope bridge for walking the plank. There's even a slide for quick escapes. You guys have the coolest treehouse I've ever seen in my life. Kids seem to love it. How do you guys feel about the treehouse? It's it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I yeah. mean, and that's the most important thing is to see the kids up there having fun. Here. It's not the average treehouse, you know. When when people think about tr building a treehouse, a lot of the time, what's in their mind is like this. <laughs> but what turns out is like a few planks bang together, and like you can sit up there and yell at people. These guys definitely did their research, and they were out to impress. These guys were really easy to work with, not only in the fact that they knew what they were doing, but also in the fact that they just had great attitude. From the ground up, we have basically. Uh, a deck. The gusset was built out of parts from the barn. Mm -hmm. Yep. The actual building itself was made out of two by fours that you got on sale that were sort of crooked and twisted. Yep. yep. How'd you get those shingles for half price? Uh, they were on clearance at one of the big box stores, but they were really, really inexpensive. The piece of resistance is still the door. So I gotta say, the fact that you found an actual parrot door for a pirate treehouse is pretty fantastic. You build a treehouse, you have fun in the treehouse, and you know you you learn how to build something and enjoy it. It's all it come together. It's it's fun. It's safe. It's secure. It's absolutely fantastic. It'll get used more than anything else on the, the whole property. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for friends to come over and we'll say, oh, you can have a master bedroom in the cottage. We'll go into the treehouse. <laughs> what you got, little pirate man? Ah! The steering's gone out of her. Sorry, it's fine now. 